in studio tonight with Tori and Dean. Congratulations, guys. Thank Thanks, you. Thanks, Billy. Hey, <laughs> monkey off the back. How does it feel oh, to... Oh, literally, monkey off the stomach. I can let it show now. <laughs> have you? What have you been doing to harness that in to keep the uh, prying eyes away? Sucking it in for all it's worth, which is hard to do when you're pregnant. Um, I actually stick my butt out really far in the back to compensate for the, stu- for the stomach. That's yeah. the part I like. Yeah. <laughs> I do that with the paparazzi. Because Dean likes a booty that just says, pow. <laughs> You like to, so you stick it out to, to draw the eyes that way. It's well, just, I just you know gravity. If I put it that put it back, the stomach will look flatter in the front. Oh, know. fantastic! It, 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 there was no covering it. You know, it got to the point where it was like, here I am. People were asking. Now you were on uh, Hoda and Kathy Lee. I think it was like April midweek last week, yes. and they asked you, "Did you know? Did you lie to him?" No, we, I did lie, and you I felt really guilty. I feel really guilty. I feel like I need to call Kathy Lee because I'm friends with her, and when she asked me. I, we got to the end of the interview, and I thought, oh, amazing. No one has asked. And then the very last question. And I did. I panicked. I looked right at her and lied. But you uh, have to. I, I mean, a to. lot of we people don't understand that, that, you know, you want to make sure that you're out of the woods. You, you, we weren't you know, at the three-month three mark. We had to go to the first trimester screening, which was yesterday. So after we got the clear from the doctor yesterday, we announced. You announced on Twitter. I did. Fantastic. It, it's nice. It, it, it feels a because more personal. <laughs> people, right. But don't you feel like it's in your control, right? It was. It was really hard for me to push that send button because I was like, this is it. This is the last little bit of privacy I get to control. Here it goes. Bye bye. I wanted to skyride it. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> that would have been a hot move. You can do that you uh, it on the with sidewalk. the sidewalk. Oh, I could do that. Yeah, yeah I could pee it on go. the sidewalk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, can, uh, you can do that with the fourth, Dean. Okay, there you go. Yes, I will pee it. I'll pee it on the sidewalk. We'll bank that idea. Hollywood Boulevard. <laughs> How do you feel right now? Do you feel like. No more? Absolutely no more? Hey. Why are you looking at him when you ask that? Well, I don't know. I have a vasectomy. (laughs) (laughs) My wife told me to get one, though. She was like, "Uh, you'll go get one tomorrow. How do you feel, Tori? Do you want a huge, like, four or five? We definitely had always talked about three, but it's funny. Once I got pregnant and kind of a little bit into the pregnancy, I thought, I want a fourth. Dean? I was, yeah. You know, I, I wasn't sure. And then, you know, finding out about the third, it was like... I thought that would be sort of, you know, the, the finite number. It would like, okay, that's it, babe. We're going to stop here. Mm-hmm. It actually made me go in the other direction. It made me think, yeah. like, wow, how cool would it be to have four or five? Yeah, five. Well, I don't know about that. I figure you, give <laughs> a, you get uh, you get six, and then you got to be the all-time quarterback. You can have a little touch football games, and uh, it's perfect for you. Oh, we can have our hockey team. Your there hockey you team, right. Well, when we first got together, we said we wanted a hockey team. And it Making might just it happen. happen. <laughs> now, you guys, uh, how are you, first of all, how are you feeling? Are you feeling with this pregnancy compared to the others okay? I felt pretty sick with this pregnancy, worse than the first two. Um, first three months were really tough, just nauseous all day long. Oh. There was no morning sickness. It was morning, noon, and night. But I'm starting to feel better now. So, what, were your, what, what would get you through when you felt terrible? Would you take Taco the- Bell. Taco Bell. Yeah. <laughs> Dean, would you join her in this or uh, I, hold I, I would. I would join her. I started off. I started off joining with the Taco Bell, but then I was like, okay, I, you know, I got a summer's He's not coming partaking up. Partaking in this one, it's not no fun. fun. <laughs> it's not fun gorging yourself on Taco Bell alone. Well, I gained twenty pounds with Liam and Stella, and I haven't shed it. I gotta get. I gotta get down twenty pounds. <laughs> it's hard. It's hard being it pregnant for us men. It is. And then, you know, the older you get, the harder it is to come off. And So true. Metabolism. Yeah. Did you see don't the second? I'm 44. I'm, you, you know, got a few years on you. You're 44? Mm. Oh, you don't look at Dean. You look 34. Doesn't yeah, he? God bless Aww, you. That was nice. Handsome man. Nice. Hey, I'd like to be oh, as tall you. as Dean. Thank Dean you. has got some great. Dean's got views that I'll never see. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to have your energy. Yeah. <laughs> Where does it come from? Are you like this all the time? Well, I've got my, my youngest kid is six. So they're kind of if they're you it mean gets easier. Uh, your hands are in it, man. I'm uh, I'm I'm, I, I'm they're kind of good. I mean, I put them to bed at night, but other than that, they're they're good. So I can really do st- I can do stuff all we're the time. Just, we're starting yeah. all over again now. I think it's great. That's How the fun. thing. You get them kind of a little bit self sufficient, which we finally did this year, and then it's like, oh, let's start all over again. You say that now until yeah. we have to just, you know start changing diapers again. And then I'll love it. Well, I. I I wouldn't say you're gonna hate. You're gonna hate it, but I don't think you're gonna love it. No, but it is. That's what There'll I'm be moments because there was there was a lot of time between Jack and and Liam, and it was like completely out of diapers. And then you know, 
Here he, we go. He came along and it's like, okay, it's on. You got to change your diapers. And I was like, oh, this is a drag. <laughs> For me, Liam and Stella were so close together. I mean, Liam was six months when I got pregnant with Stella. Oh, man. So I didn't have time to think about it. I just went right back into it. So now it's like, it is like starting all over again. It's been almost three years. So. And are you guys uh, moving, right? You're, you're leaving the house and going to a new pad? Why, why moving? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, for two things. I mean, we really weren't crazy about the house. A beautiful house, um, but it just wasn't our style, but it, it worked at the time. And we need, we need a farm. All our animals. Yeah, our animals. We got animals coming out of the cupboards in the woodwork. We got we got to move. Give them it's some like, space. It's borderline animal hoarders at home. Yeah, we got. We got we <laughs> That's got, the new show. There you Tori go. Tori and Dean, animal hoarders. It's, it's close. Celebrity it's, animal it's hoarders. It's really close. I mean, we got goats. We got chickens. We got rabbits. We got guinea pigs. We got dogs. We got a snake. We got a bearded dragon. In I'm a thinking residential with residential neighborhood in the valley. It just yeah. doesn't work. Doesn't work. With all those kinds of animals, you probably they, they've attracted other animals and new friends. There's probably animals you don't even know about, <laughs> right? No, actually, it's it's. I think it's kept them away. Come have a sleepover. You know, coyotes you don't come know. down yeah. and they're like they smell goat pee and like what the hell is that? Yeah, <laughs> but we want horses. We we really want a farm. So you're gonna go how far out? What are you I don't looking? No, I mean. You Obviously, our livelihoods here in Los Angeles, so a little farther out, but like Thousand Oaks, Westlake, kind of that direction, or out past Pasadena. No, I think the first direction. Yeah, probably that area. We did look in Pasadena a little bit. They have strict rules about animals there. Yeah. They said no yeah. goats. We had well, a line on a beautiful yeah. house there, and and then you know once we we got into it, and it was a historical property as well, so there's a whole bunch of stuff that goes with that. But they're pretty strict about their animals. Yeah, no goats. How fun! Will you grow your own food and yeah, fruit? Yeah, we do. We have an yeah. organic garden right now, but we'd love to have a huge one. It's great. The kids love it. They don't know any different. They're out there collecting eggs, and and Liam doesn't eat vegetables, but whatever he picks from our garden and washes himself, he'll eat. So it works. I, I would just love want to a tractor. do this. My wife would never stand for. She'd be like, "No, we're not farm. Hello, no, I need my. You know, she she's not a tent. She's not a tent person. She wouldn't go camping. She's more of a let's stay in the hotel. You, she's yeah, not a camper. Do you think I would go camping? But you want to be on a farm and stuff with poop and all this stuff everywhere. <laughs> a very chic one. Yeah. Don't you think okay. Martha Stewart yeah. has a chic farm? There we go. You love <laughs> Martha Stewart. Yeah, I love her does, so much. Does Martha muck the stalls and? Yes. She mucks oh, the, Martha does Martha it all. Loves it. Yeah. Will you I do that, Tori? I want to do that. I'll do that. <laughs> for one, <laughs> Sounds like for a kid one said, day. No, give me the puppy. I promise <laughs> to walk it every day. I'll, I'll clean up after it. it. Yeah. I'll do everything. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that'll be fun. Whole new experience getting out there and farming everything. We, we got to sell our house first, though. So, Guys, storybook weddings. Uh, you know, I, 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 when it was first announced, I remember saying, what the heck? Planning weddings? Heck it is. But the, from what I've seen, just little clips. Endless material for comedy and fun, right? Oh, yeah. Tell me about comedy, tomorrow night. drama. Oh, my gosh. Who knew that weddings would be so chaotic and drama-filled? And, yeah, it is comedy. Um, tomorrow night, we had a couple come to us, and they said, we want the ultimate Hollywood wedding. And so I'm thinking, okay, how do I do that? Chic. So I'm like, ooh, kind of like Art Deco, old Hollywood, you know, loungy supper club. And they're like, no, literally club. We want hot pink everywhere, sparkle, feathers. And by the way, we own rats. We want rats incorporated into the wedding. And I was like, whoa. Pet okay. rats. Pet rats. Yeah. Like they're beloved in the relationship. They're part of the family. They're part of the they're family. Like children. I made them outfits. <laughs> oh, Dean made God. them a carriage. They came down the aisle. I even, they're obsessed with cheese because they love rats. I made her a gigantic, with brie wheels, uh, a cheesecake made out of cheese. It was pretty awesome. This is insane. So the rats will be at the reception. Oh, They'll yeah. be there. The honored guests, right? They are. Yeah, they they're, are. They're, they're the whole uh, the whole wedding. We got special permission from the hotel to allow the rats to be at the reception. And will you have a headset on, you guys? Like we're gonna uh, with like execute during the weddings, or you set them up and let it go? No joke. The we very need first a headset. Day, we did need it, but the very first day, I was like, I need a headset. I need to be like J Lo in the wedding planner. Isn't that yes. what you're supposed to be? Like, hello, I am the wedding planner. But no, I never got. I was one. thinking more Janet Jackson, Rhythm Nation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Little mouthpiece coming yeah, across. You yeah. can like broadcasting a football game or something. <laughs> oh, outstanding. Um, and what's the, so that sounds weird. Is there a weirder situation that's coming up? Uh, that's probably the weirdest. Yeah, we have some really cool weddings coming up after that. We have like uh, Marie Antoinette. Uh, Arabian Nights. Yeah. Um, I built a flying carpet for that. The bride wanted to come in on a flying carpet, and I built a flying carpet for her. Yep. But it obviously doesn't Bollywood. fly. So it doesn't fly, but it was brought in by burly men. Burly yeah. Arabian men. <laughs> Four deans and loincloths. You're a big guy. You could carry that. <laughs> yeah, I could. 
That sounds great. Do you ever have the feeling when you're setting up one of these weddings, like, this is a bad idea for these two to get married? <laughs> what are we doing with these two? No, we did not, not have yet. that. No, not, not yet. yet. Oh, you felt so everyone just... Yeah. Yeah, we got it. I mean, obviously Fantastic. there were couples we got closer to than others. Some we've been remained good friends with. But there was never a couple that were like, ooh, no, 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 this isn't going to last. This is Haven't toxic. seen that yet. Great. Well, it sounds like an awesome show. I uh, The clip that I saw with the rat peeing rat on you. Peeing on you. Um, very funny. You I can't, can't write that stuff. No. That's why it's reality <laughs> TV, people. That's why you guys do reality TV yeah. so well. To get peed on. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you didn't say, you know, cut that out. I don't want that on no. there. I mean, like, that's a beautiful moment. I was like, wow, this is TV gold when it happened. TV gold. <laughs> Have you ever thought of renewing your vows with your, your lady? We've done it. We did our 10th tenth, tenth? Tenth wedding anniversary. We invited all of our, well, a lot of, about 50 people, mostly East Coasters to uh, Park City, Utah, where we have a place, and uh, did a big 10th anniversary ski weekend and ski race, and then Saturday night, a huge dinner at the Park City Hotel and just kind of blew it out. And we took our vows again, obviously. So I was going to suggest that maybe if you you know, you know do that, maybe T and I could... Oh, yeah. If you're on the air at 15, I, I just crossed 13 last week, so two oh, more oh, years. Oh, yeah. two years. Okay, is that the a promise? The 15th wedding anniversary, yeah. done. Okay. Deal. You heard right. it here, folks. Yeah, that's right. How much will it cost me? Oh, never mind. We'll get to Not that. Not a dime. Not a dime. If you do it on TV, Billy, we'll do it for free. <laughs> 15. <laughs> I've committed. Yeah. <laughs> Can I get money back for the 10th? <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you. Tomorrow night at 10, and we'll hammer that over and over again uh, on Oxygen. Thank you.